G'day beer lovers. Today's episode of Ed Street is brought to you by the letter B. He's VB and he lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, fell so them hesitate. G'day beer lovers. It's our old mate again here, VB Ed. Ah. G'day, beer lovers. Approximately an hour and a half ago, a massive swarm of bees descended on my backyard. And it looks like these fuckers have taken up residency here. I don't know what to do. I've, this has never happened to me before. So I've just put it up on Facebook. I want some of my friends to give me some advice. Okay? These are some of the suggestions. Right, option number one is I commit mass genocide. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till dusk, get a tin of insecticide and just spray the fuckers and just kill them all. Well, that ain't going to happen because I'm not into that and my family won't let me do that either. We're not into genocide because bees are so precious to the environment. Okay, option number two. Some of my friends who know something about bees suggest that this time of the year bees do a lot of migration. They tend to move around a bit. And given one or two days, these bees may just pack up and leave. Okay. Number three. That basically I get a beekeeper. Okay, a beekeeper will come out. I'll contact a beekeeper. A beekeeper will come out and he'll extract the bees rung up the council and they've said well you'll probably have to pay the beekeeper there is a fee involved okay option number four a couple of my facebook friends are suggesting that vb ed becomes a fucking beekeeper yeah they are serious they reckon i should keep the bees and get the honey from them <laughs> oh, fuck that <laughs> what am i supposed to do just chop off a bit of hive every bloody morning am i and just just put the bloody honey on my toast look i know fuck all about keeping bees and i have not got time in my life to take up another fucking hobby okay that ain't gonna happen okay oh another friend pete finn or also known as the fat aussie bastard he has suggested that i should strip down to my undies and give the hive a good old whack and film it all and make a really great video <laughs> Sounds like a great idea, but that ain't gonna happen. The video will probably go viral, but I ain't gonna do it. So, what we've decided as a family is we're gonna go with giving the bees one or two days to get out of here, okay? We're just gonna let nature take its course and let the fuckers go. Now, when you have a close look, close up look at the hive, it doesn't look like they're actually building a hive. They're just all congregating on top of each other. Have a look at this. Yeah, and I bet the queen is right in the middle of that mass there. Yeah. Bees are fucking fascinating creatures, aren't they? They have a, a hierarchical social structure. You know, you've got a queen at the top. You've got these fertile males, that, and their purpose in life is just basically to fuck the queen all day long, so she lays eggs and makes more bees and then you've got the workers and they all have what they're all united by one mind it's a hive mind they all think as one so there's no time or there's no so there's no opportunity for individuality being a bee you work to maintain the survival of the hive okay and in a lot of respects humans are the same you know, we have a hierarchical structure. We have leaders, kings, queens, and we are all expected to go to war <laughs> to fight for king and country. Um, up till quite recent times, there really wasn't much time for people expressing their individuality. Yeah, now we're all supposed to do what we're told. If we all just become a world of individuals, well, civilization will just decay. Okay, we're going to decline. So bees, yeah, fascinating creatures. Hey, one day later, <laughs> the bees are gone. They were here for exactly 24 hours. We reckon they left 
at around about 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon, at roughly about the same time they arrived. We never actually filmed them taking off. Would love to have captured that, but they're gone, and I'm so relieved that I didn't have to commit genocide on the fuckers. Okay. Okay, catch you later, guys. See ya. Oh my. Oh.